guys welcome back i went to a normal goodwill so i paid normal goodwill prices which can be expensive but every now and then i like to do it and they had a couple different tags on sale so i'm gonna run you guys through i have like three bags full of stuff here i spent 221 dollars i believe i think my receipt is somewhere in this bag so i'll stumble across it if you are new around here my name is bethany i am a full-time reseller i sell on ebay and poshmark and a couple other little side platforms like facebook marketplace and Macari. And I love what I do. It keeps me out of corporate America and it's always so fun getting to go thrifting because you never know what you're going to find. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing here is a Zara piece. Buttons down, really pretty florals. It is sheer, but this is like the perfect spring summer top. So went ahead and got it. This brand actually does pretty well for me on Poshmark. I have noticed that Poshmark more trendy pieces sell better on Poshmark than eBay. I will still list that both on eBay and then cross post to Poshmark, but could not pass it up. Next thing is ASOS, their snow pants. They are leopard print and they also have, I forget what this is called at the bottom, but your foot slides into it. Major 80s vibes, but I love these. They're kind of a thicker pant. And even though we are into warm weather here, I have full confidence these will still sell. This is Anthropology. It's a v-neck kind of ribbed sweater top. This was half off. And it's like a coral color. Bright and fun. This is another Anthropology piece. It's Birds of Paradise by Travada. And it's a window pane button down top. Super lightweight. This is Clover Canyon. And it is a, a dress. I thought it was a romper at first, but it is a dress. Very colorful. So I thought that was fun. This is another ASOS piece and it's new with tags and it's a great size, size 26. It's just a white button down shirt dress. I love this. This is another brand that does decent for me on Poshmark. This is a cabbie piece, sheer printed tank top. I have been selective on cabbie. It used to sell a lot better than it does now. This is Hello Molly. Comps are good for this on Poshmark. It's a romper. Blue floral. So cute. Perfect for summer. Okay, next up we have Athleta and Great Size 2. They are 10 tall. Anything that is tall in Athleta, I generally try to pick up assuming it's in good condition. They're kind of these cargo pants. And these are in really good condition, so I love these. And I mean, the size is perfect. I feel like these will sell instantly. This is a anthropology piece. It's Sunday in Brooklyn. I got this, it was half off. It's like a mock neck maxi dress and it has like a color block dress. I'm not sure what it's called, but so cute, perfect for summer lightweight and fun. I think this would be cute with a statement necklace. So follow me for more fashion tips because obviously I know everything. I wear um, a t-shirt every day. <laughs> okay, this is Lulu's. Average brand as well, but I love the, it's like a midi dress. I love the ruffles on it. Kind of a tiered ruffle. This is Zoffel, if I say that correctly. It is a crop sweater tank top. These are like so in style, rumor has it. So grab that. These are some kids miss me's. I know I broke the rule. I said I never buy miss me's thrifting, but I did get these. I always check the back to make sure 
um, like all the studs or beads are there. Sometimes at the bins, they'll be missing and I'll stick, still pick them up because they're from the bins. From what I could tell at a quick look at Goodwill, all the gems are on the back. I did pay $5.99 for them. So my guess is these will sell for like $24 to $30. This is a free people piece, Be the Free. I wasn't gonna get this, but this is actually a newer style free people top, and it was half off, so I paid $3 for it. And it has the style number on the inside tag, so it'll be quick and easy to look up and find exactly what it is. This is a Madewell piece sweater top. Just kind of like a gray marbled color. You know I love my Vineyard Vines. I usually collect these. I got this half off and I will collect them and lot them all together once I have a fair amount of the same size. I find a lot of these at the bins and so every now and then if I get a good deal at a normal thrift store, I will purchase it just to add to my lot to collection. This is an Anthropology Maeve piece. It's a skirt. I did get this half off and I debated whether or not to get it because I don't know, like are people wearing skirts? Who knows? I decided to risk it to see. I thought this was a very fun, pretty print. So we'll see how it does. Here is a Bowden dress. This brand is hit or miss too. I have noticed that the kind of more fun printed ones do better, at least for me anyways. But this was in really good condition. It Seems like it hasn't been worn, so grab this. These I usually list for 25 to 32-ish. Oh, I did buy myself a couple things. And the dressing rooms at our Goodwill are back open, so I was able to try this on, which was great. This is just Old Navy. It's brand new with tags. Again, it's for me, but it's a fun little floral printed shift dress. I am excited to wear this. Mainly, sometimes I get excited to dress up. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully this summer having some place to go. Okay, let's see. This is J. Crew, another sweater tank top. I love the striped colors on this. This is another piece for myself. I would never buy this brand to resell. This is just Jessica Simpson. And it's a yellow ruffle shift dress. It's belted. This is going to be perfect for summer. We actually have a couple weddings to go to. So I thought that I could wear this to one of the weddings. And I was able to try this on, which is so nice. Because sometimes I would buy things hoping that they would fit. And then I'd get home and they wouldn't fit. New brand to me, but picked it up because comps are decent. It's called Roan. It's a men's athletic tank top. I feel like this is very similar to what Lululemon does. They add these like little stripes on the side. But again, first time finding this brand, so let me know if you are familiar with that brand. Here are some Levi shorts. I love selling Levi shorts. The last pair I picked up, they sold for $34, so I'm hoping that this will be similar. People love their jean cutoff shorts, so I was excited about these. Lily Pulitzer. I saw this print from like the other aisle and I was like, I think that's Lily. And it is their resort Bermuda shorts. I'm not sure the style. They might be, oh, they're super old. They're from 2012. Okay, this is VC. A lot of bloggers post about this. They are some striped linen pants. Super lightweight, I love these. And then we have some Athleta shorts, size eight, kind of like a army green cargo shorts. And then the last clothing piece is this anthropology piece. It's a, it's like a, sleeveless utility jacket. I'm not sure 
what it's called. I have to look it up, but it does have a belt to it and it has some ruffles. So you guys can see that okay. I do need to steam clean it because it's got some wrinkles, but that was a good find. So that's all the clothing pieces. I do have a couple like miscellaneous items and I went ahead and grabbed a couple grab bags, which I don't usually do. First thing is super exciting. I bought myself some more hangers to store all my thrifted inventory. I recently bought another clothing rack because I was running out of room. So I like to just pick these up at Goodwill because they're super cheap. I mean, I paid $1.29 per one of these. I don't know, there's probably 10 in each one. I have two bags of American Girl doll clothing. So these were, this one was $3.99 and this one was $5.99. I haven't looked fully, and maybe it's not all American Girl doll in, stuff in here because it looks like miscellaneous food stuff. But there's definitely like, there's American Girl doll pens in there. And actually, why don't I just open this? I don't know why I'm waiting. Okay, so we have a ton of shoes. And I mean, hopefully they have matches in here. But yeah, like slippers, ice skating shoes. Yeah, this is American Girl. Um, slumber party. Yep, American Girl doll. This is a little puppy. Okay, from what I can tell, there are some matching shoes in here. And yeah, like little ice skates. Those are so cute. Um, there's some books. Oh, American Girl doll. Oh my gosh. It's Kit, a little American Girl doll book. And another one. Oh my gosh, how fun. Okay, this isn't one, it's a mathematics book. Another one. So yeah, these three are not American Girl doll, but I love these little books. And then I have some food stuff which, oh, it is American Girl doll, it says on the back. And then a little, oh my gosh, it's a little notebook. So yeah, all this food stuff. There's like a plate and milk and cookies. And then, oh my gosh, this is so fun. There's like three of these little American Girl doll pens. So I love that. That was a good bag. Um, let me open the other one. So a little American Girl doll gift bag, travel bag, oh, with some Chick-fil-A Clorox wipes and some pens. But yeah, that's American Girl doll. We have some more little ice skates. And then we have some clothes. Okay, this, I don't think, no, but this is not American Girl doll. Okay, so maybe this stuff is just like random doll stuff because I'm not seeing American Girl on this stuff. Little hat. Little shirt. Um, this does not say American Girl doll, so that is not it. Another little bag. And then we have some American Girl doll skates which is so fun. I spent like $10 on both of those bags. So I'm just going to lot it all together and we will see how it does. I've lotted, I found American Girl doll stuff before at the bins and I used to like collect it and then save it as a lot. I had also found actual American Girl dolls too that I just lotted everything together and it sold for like $150. Next thing up is I paid $3.99, but it's a bag of Legos. Um, I have actually been collecting Legos as well. I will usually find like random pieces at the bins and I have just started collecting them. I started like two years ago. So I'm gonna add this to my collection and eventually I'm sure we'll sell it, but we like to have Legos and fun stuff when our nieces and nephews come to visit us. So this I'll just be keeping for a while and then, I don't know, I just can see eventually us selling all the Lego lots we have. Okay, how cute are these? 
They are Keds baseball slip-ons and they're real leather. So I love these, they're so fun. I think these will be perfect. Baseball season is here. So hopefully someone can wear these to a baseball game and be so stylish. I did get a pair of natives. They really need to be clean. They're not in the best condition, but I paid a uh, dollar for them. They were normally $2 and they were half off. So I'm gonna clean them up, see what I can do, and then probably sell these on Facebook Marketplace. The last thing is just this little tray that I'm keeping for myself. I like to have these in the bathroom. I'll put face lotion and stuff on them. So I thought this was cute and it'll actually match one that we have in our bathroom currently. So one win. So yeah, that's everything. I'm excited to get everything listed and sorted and cleaned and figure out what platforms everything needs to get sold on. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know what you think about this video and be sure to like and subscribe because I have so many more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching as always. I really appreciate it and I will be back soon. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.